Well, I, we're going to carry on with the Blake Seven Figures that I got from Beast in the Brock. And today we're going to be doing Avon. This is Season 4 Avon. It's quite a good likeness by the look of it. Look at all those studs. Really crisply cast in. And they are actually crooked dice. Yeah, so I thought it was crooked dice used to do. Okay, so we're going to block in the flesh. And for this I'm just using my standard Cajun Flesh Tone. And that's lightened with a... A smidgen of Vallejo light flesh, which just brings it down so that it's not too sort of uh, looks like otherwise it looks a bit dark and they look a bit uh, sunburnt. He hasn't got much flesh on the uh, show here because he's uh, wearing his big studded gloves that he stole off Baben. So we'll let that dry and then we'll come back and do some shading. Okay, so the flesh shade's dry, we're just going to run some, uh, sorry, the flesh base coat is dry, we're going to run some Reichland flesh shade onto it, just to bring out the detail. There we go, let that dry. Okay, so the uh, flesh shade is dry, so all we're going to do is use uh, lightened Cadian flesh tones, uh, lightened with a bit more of the Vallejo light flesh and then do a little bit of dry brushing across the face. There we go. So then I'm going to block in his eye using white. There we go. And then I can also block in his hair using dark brown. For that I'm going to use Rhinox Hide. Right, that dry and come back and do his eyeball. Okay, so I'm just going to paint the eyeballs and I'm just going to use a bit of McCraggy blue and try and find my incredibly thin brush. Okay, so really the rest of Avon is just blocked in in black. So I'm going to do that off camera and then we'll come back and add some of the detail in. Okay, so as you can see, I've just painted in black all over. So now we're going to pick up some detail. I'm going to use Rune Fang Steel. I'm just going to pick out the clip gun to start with. And then I'm going to pick out the teleport bracelet in steel. Now, for all his studs, I'm going to try and dry brush it in steel rather than paint them individually. This might work, this might not. I have to pick them out with the brush on those bits. All right, okay, so I'm going to then do a little bit of dry brushing in white all over just to add a bit of detail to the flat black because flat black on its own never looks particularly great. Are lovely models. So what I'm going to do now is stick into a base, add some gravel, and then we'll come back and we'll see what he's like when he's finished. 
Right, so what I've done with Avon is stick him to a base and put some gravel on there and he looks really good. I think he's a nice looking figure. It's a good facial sculpt. It does look like Avon. Uh, I might add a little bit of red to the clip gun for the uh, the sights, but overall I think that's an amazing figure. Um, if I compare him to the lake that I did before, I know different seasons, but these are really nice figures. Um, well worth getting if you're a Blakeson fan, or even if you just like little figures. But yeah, so please like and subscribe if you want to see more of these. Uh, I'll probably do um, the two Tarrant, Tarrant, the two Travises, Travi, and the Guard together. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks, then. Bye.